Hello and welcome back to more Silent Hill 3. Um, we just beat up some really huge thing and watched it deflate super grossly. And now we're going to go ahead and keep moving down these stairs, which was an e excellent cliffhanger for last week. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> We're going to the garbage, which is where we need to be. Fire door, it doesn't lead anywhere, that's fine. All's well. It's like the last thing you want to be saying during Silent Hill is all is well. Okay, platforms three and four. I think we're supposed to get onto platform three, so let's go there. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh god, okay. So this is the way to get to the next part. I want to check out platform 4 before we do this. Um, so let's go ahead and backtrack. Because like that brings the train for the next part of the game. And I don't want to do that quite yet. Let's at least check out the mysteries of platform 4. Before we commit so readily to the strong arms of platform 3 senpai. Okay! into the strong arms of absolutely nothing. <sighs> Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do before we start up this part, because I remember it being a huge pain in the ass, is unequip the shotgun. <laughs> now if I'm remembering right, the trick to this part is to basically not engage in the combat that they're gonna want to get you into and just run right back for that and try to get back on. Run! Oh god, get up there, get up there! Oh, did we make it? Oh, please make it. Uh, don't get run over! Yes! We made it! Heather, don't worry about it, just get on the train. Yay, we can even unlock doors. We're so good. Oh god, I don't like that noise. Here's the thing, Akira Yamaoka wrote this soundtrack, but I do not remember that song in particular being on it. To get over there, we just need to basically get up the stairs and then- oh god, a boy. We basically just need to like get up the stairs and then go back down the stairs. So that's where we are right now, and if we just head straight across, we should be in the right spot. And the camera changed, which means we're on the right track. <laughs> right track, Subway. <laughs> Heather, you wanted to be on the train and you're on the train. You need to stop complaining about these things. It's okay. Now, I remember there's something weird with whether or not the train cars stay together, I think is the best way to put it. So we're not going to dick with it too much, but we are just going to do our best here. Oh hey, save point. I just wanted to investigate it because it looked violent, but we have a save point. Wait. Do you see something else you like? Any bullets? Any good boys? Oh, I hear some good boys. There we go. Good job, Heather, I'm proud of you. So, it sounds so bad to say this, especially since I just killed that thing, but my dog um, has a cone on her head right now, like a shame cone, because she just um, got examined by the vet, and the way that she like lumbers around with her head kind of swaying looks exactly like those things. It's uncanny. I hate how dark this is. Come on. Oh, God. Come here, good boy. Oh god, there's another one! Too much good boy potential here. Anyone else? Anyone else want to come mess with Heather Mason today? She's had a real hard day.
She found some garbage. She found some guns. She found a first aid kit. What is that? Because it doesn't... Oh, it's just the handle from the train. That's some good clutter. Well done, Heather. Um, let's go ahead and... First of all, reload this. Second of all, ammo check. Okay. Alright. Not the best, not the worst, but not the best. And good health drinks. Anyone here? Any more potential good boys? No? Tight. Anyone here? Okay, no one's here. Right? Aside from all those weird whispers in the background that I can't tell if it's just like the train. I mean, don't get me wrong, atmosphere is atmosphere. And it's solid as hell. So I want to keep playing Silent Hill games because I really enjoy them and they're a huge part of like me as a gamer. But I don't know if I just want to play the ones that I like or just play all of them in order of the ones that I like. Or just play all of them in numerical order, in which case I'm going to have to skip backwards to 1 and 2 and then go back to 4 after I do this one. I don't know. I don't know what my gaming future holds, but I do encourage you to tell me what to do in the comments below. That's a call to action, isn't it? Alright, and we don't have a map of this area, but we do have a save point in this area. Um, we are officially no longer using a walkthrough because I feel like I know this part pretty well. Well enough that I'll be able to, you know, muddle my way through it. Because, like, say what you want about the puzzles of Silent Hill. For the most part, the level design is pretty intuitive. Plus or minus all of this darkness that won't let me know where I'm supposed to be. But it's a pretty intuitively laid out map overall. One thing that I will say about Silent Hill 3 especially is that it takes its filler kind of seriously. Heather, maybe focus on the one that's coming up on you. Just an idea, sweet pea. Uh, this way? Alright, can't go through there. Ah, uh, that camera, though. <laughs> There's one aspect of Silent Hill I would change in a heartbeat. It's that camera. Please give me a different one. And please also let every protagonist draw their own map. Not just, like, the nerds who carried pens with them today. <laughs> Granted, I would be that nerd. Considering how many pens are in my purse as we speak. My pen collection's actually super embarrassing. I don't think I should be talking about it. Oh, who's here? Is there a boy here? Heather, I see you looking around and it concerns me deeply. I'm trying to keep the flashlight like more or less centered. So that like I can at least see the path around me. Maybe just kind of form an idea of where I'm supposed to go. See, I found a door. Haha. <laughs> I'm probably going in a huge circle right now. No? Okay, maybe not a huge circle. What was that? Oh, where's my boy? Oh, double boys! There were two of you, yes? Yeah, no, he just went the other way. That's that's fine. You guys can grow apart. I'm down with that. I'm okay with you growing apart, my boys. Okay, we found... a mall. We left the mall to get the mall. That was an awful sound. Oh, a map! Oh, we found a map too, thank goodness. Heather. Heather? There you go. Thank you for map, yes. Good, good map, Heather. Okay, I feel a lot better, and we actually 
made some decent progress in mapping where we're supposed to go. I think our next step should be figuring out what made that noise. Even though I'm not gonna like the answer. I never do. I remember this part. That's an exceptionally large boy coming our way. I'm not afraid of you, large boy. Oh my god, she should really be like more fearful of those kicks. Oh, my child. Oh shit, 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 shit. I forgot you're not like friendly just because I took down the big one. Fuck. Okay. How are we doing on this stuff? I'm probably. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kick it back old school for a bit. Oof, yeah, I should have been doing that way sooner. I apologize to everyone who was cringing while I used up all my ammo. I mean, this is clearly just a very dense boy zone. Wasn't that a banned boy zone? Um, probably was. So we'll go ahead and see what's down this way. Anyone fun here? Oh god! Oh, fun friends just out for a night on the town! Oh, son of a bitch. Run, run. Okay, nothing can go wrong here. It's just an uncanny long sewer. It's fine. Happens to everybody. Is it that long on the map? Technically. Oh, I hate those sounds. <laughs> okay, where did we just land? On the other side of that gate. Whoa, whoa, Heather. We don't need that right now, BB. We're still we're still on this floor, okay? Let's go this way. Okay. That's a no. Um, so let's maybe try exploring that section? Like I said, I can generally get my way around um, most areas, but I don't remember all of the areas very well. So like, if you told me how does Heather get out of the underpass, I would have no idea. But like, I know that she does inevitably get out of the underpass and into, I wanna say, the office buildings? Okay, where's the boy? Okay, that's fine. Go in through here. And ooh, treats. I'll take some of those. Heather, there's a... L it's not just a... Heather. There we go. And I saw a health drink over here that I'll be taking. Ooh, a couple. And I found a save point. Yes, thank you for save. Saving game. And is this thing useful at all? Kinda looks useful kerosene in the heater, and I could take it with me if I had a container. Well, we'll work on that next week. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.